somewhat rude of the ice cream van. As you can tell from the title, it's going to be me unboxing sort of it's a mixture of things. So there's like bookish items, there's books obviously, and also books that I won in a competition. This is going to be sort of split into three different sections. With the last clip, I am sorry for like the quality. I did originally film it to put it up on Instagram, so it is only like on a tiny screen. But it's such a cool giveaway, I thought it'd be a shame not to share it with you all. This is a bookmark that I purchased. It's lovely, it's a really nice bookmark. Let me just take it out of the question. That is gorgeous. It says, just one more chapter. It's handmade and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I purchased this from that bookworm guy on Instagram. Next parcel is from Waterstones and this has actually come a lot sooner than I thought that it would. This is a book that's been out for quite a while but I haven't purchased yet. So it is... The House in the Carilion Sea and this is by TJ Clune and this is a book that I've been super excited to read for a long time. I really love the paperback. Has it got spray? Oh my goodness, I've just noticed it has sprayed edges. We love a sprayed edge. How cool does that go with the cover? So the book essentially from what I've gathered from reading the back just now and like what people have said, I've tried not to look too much of spoilers. The house is run by a man who's given an assignment to look after six children from an orphanage and these six children are technically seen as like dangerous and I think one is the antichrist as well. They're worried that these children are going to be like a danger to society so is, a, is left up to this guy and I think his cat to look after them. So this one is from Harper360 and I'm pretty sure that this is the giveaway that I won um, during Yalk. So the Yalk page was running this. Let's have a look. I know I've got to be careful with the new book not to read the back because apparently that like gives away. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 So we have a cute print of i really want to get some of these mina lima books aren't they absolutely gorgeous we have <laughs> love it i did have one of these tote bags already but i'm not gonna lie to you you can never have enough tote bags and then i have a little medal as well should we put it on i feel like it's tradition so we've got a cute little envelope um let's see what it says feels like Christmas. Congrats on your lovely prize. Thank you very much Harper360. Honestly, I feel so spoiled with the Harper360 giveaways because they've been absolutely incredible. Oh, how cute is that? I'm not sure if you can see but it says we're all in this together. High school musical vibes. I'm gonna put this on as well because why not oh my goodness what is this so this is from paper chase oh my goodness yes it's a highlighter how cute is that it almost looks like a lipstick doesn't it i love highlighters so then we have this as well it's so cute okay so there's another highlighter how lush are they I'm very happy. These are like the poshest highlighters I've ever owned. I usually have those ones you can get like 10 for pound in Poundland or something. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so these are by Maureen Johnson and the first one is Truly Devious. And this is a book series that has been out for quite a number of years now. Let me check exactly when. I want to say 2017 or 2018 this book came out so it was like sort of the year after I started blogging we have the hand on the wall oh look how gorgeous that is how cool is that I didn't realize it was like a mixed media format oh, I'm not sure it is it might just be the start <gasps> very exciting so that's the second one in the series and then we have the third one in the series too, which is 
the vanishing stay so that's the original trilogy which i'm super super hyped to read this is the box in the woods and can we talk about how gorgeous all of these covers are please how cute is that it's signed as well i didn't realize it was going to be signed oh my god how cool is that for a book plate i've never seen one like that before oh my goodness i just had the panic of a lifetime because i looked up from putting the book plate in the book also how amazing does that look and my camera had stopped recording and i was like well i went on to my camera roll and the video was completely gone and i was like oh my god are you joking me have i just sat here for over half an hour filming my excitement for it all to be deleted but i think it was because i'd run out of memory on my phone as i started to delete all the videos the video popped back up and i was like oh my god thank god for that <sighs> panic avoided how cool is that i can't believe it i've been wanting to read this series for so long it's literally been sitting on my amazon wish list since as they came out i think and the fact that i've just won them all is just it's amazing so yeah thank you so so much harp 360 and thank you for all the goodies that you've put into this bag as well like it's so sweet of you and i'm super 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 happy with those i've got a few bookish parcels that have arrived this one is from bookmarked beth beth is one of my best friends and she makes the most fantastic bookish bookmarks coasters and now another thing that i'm about to show you her designs are fantastic she makes everything out of rising everything's handmade let's have a look at the one that i got oh look she's so cute she said ash thank you for all of the support it comes super cutely wrapped like this and it says small business big dreams and the other part i'm going to show you as well that's also from a small business and i just think it's so important to support small businesses at the moment oh, look at that oh my god look how sparkly it is is the camera gonna do this justice not sure it's gonna like show it up properly on camera now but it's absolutely gorgeous oh my god i love it so this is a bat page holder and i've got one of these which is like the larger one i think this is the small one um and i've got that in black and it's sparkly so you have your page and then you can slip your thumb through it and you can hold the book like that and i think it's so handy i have a cyst on my hand <laughs> I'm not sure if you can really see that. I asked everybody on Instagram to name her and the winner was Cecilia. <laughs> it's all fine apparently, so <laughs> Cecilia is just living on my wrist for the foreseeable. It's gonna make it a lot easier to like hold books because I can hold them in my left hand fine. But I've noticed when I'm holding especially bigger books, it is starting to make my wrist ache. This is by AGS Designs. The person who creates these designs is, I don't want to say her name, so I'm not sure if her name's linked to her business. But she went to university with my boyfriend. She is honestly like one of the loveliest people. I like struggled not to buy <laughs> her entire shop, I'll be honest. Oh my god, that's so cute. So it comes beautifully packaged like this. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god. It's so cute. Look. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? We have a little thank you letter. And it says, your order means so much to my small biz. As a thank you, please use. Oh, oh, that's really sweet. We've got a 15% off our order and it says if you're happy with the order, let me know by leaving a review. Don't forget to also tag me any pics of your order as I would love to see them. And I will definitely do that. As you've probably guessed, I ordered prints and I did go for spooky season prints. I was originally only going to get the one and then I was like, you know what, I, I like I cannot choose. So I got to, oh my god. I love them so much. They are amazing. We have 
Are you ready? Basic Witch. How amazing is that? I absolutely love it. And then the second one that I've got, which I am definitely going to be keeping up all year. You might be thinking, we can only keep that up for spooky season. But it's all for spooky season here. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. How amazing are those going to look on my wall? This is from Nicole Reeds King on Bookstagram. And basically, she was selling quite a few books on her Instagram story. And I spotted two books that I fancied. Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. And I'm pretty sure this is the first in the series. And if it is, I have already read about like 50 or 60 pages of this book. I had it on Kindle, but I didn't fully get into it at the time. I need to be in the mood to read a book when it's like on the Kindle. I don't know what it is about like a Kindle format, but I don't fully vibe with it. But I've heard so many good things about this series that I did want to carry it on. Booty Queens by Libba Bray was on the pile. And this is one of those books that I know is like quite popular in America, but I've never actually seen in like bookshops or anything over here. I'm pretty sure this is about booty queens that are like stuck on a desert island. This has been on my list since like 2017, since I started blogging really. And it was one like that was sitting on my Goodreads shelf that I've just never seen in shops, but it's not one that I'd necessarily like pay full price for. I actually jumped on my story to show you a super exciting delivery that I've had. So I'll give you like a sneak peek, but basically this is one of the other books that I won in a competition on Twitter for the At Home Yelk and it's off Harper 360 and I'm super super excited to show you this one. But I couldn't get over like all the like confetti and stuff in there so I was like I've got to open this on camera. The first thing is, oh my god, we love a tote bag. <laughs> Can you see all the confetti that's falling off? The cats are going to have a whale of a time with this. Oh, okay, okay. Big Book 21. How lush is this tote bag? Oh my god, it's got pink on this side. Yes. And it's one of those ones that's like slightly bigger than a normal tote bag as well. Do you know what I mean? It's like it can basically just fit more books in. I am going to definitely utilise this the next time I go to Waterstones or a charity shop very nice next thing we have is this cute little card i think it's from paper chase how cute i love all the stationery in paper chase oh my god look how cute that is it says congrats on your win sorry i think that's um back to front isn't it thank you very much harper 360 oh my god how cute oh hang on <laughs> let me take away the confetti oh my god that is lush have a little medal saying winner. Shall I put it on? Oh my god, it's gonna fit over my head. Ooh. Just. <laughs> How cute is that? I shall take the win. Thank you very much. Now I think we're on to the book. Let me just take the book. Oh no, we're not, we're not. Oh my god, this is like the envelope that keeps on giving. A blondie pin badge and then i think there's one more thing in here before the book and it is oh my god that is lush i got a little pen for my notepad is that a peach i think it's a peach i love peaches i love anything with peaches on let's move on to the book and this is one that i'm really really intrigued and excited to read so this is a retelling of a classic and it's a jane austen book and it's called persuasion which i'm sure like a lot of you probably have read so it's going to be really interesting to see how this compares to obviously the original and it is where the rhythm takes you and it's by sarah das oh Oh my god i didn't realize that we were getting one okay so we have a signed author book plate as well oh thank you harper 360 and we've also got a bookmark as well and i love this because it's so true it says never trust anyone who has not brought a book with them and like it's true let's have a look under the dust jacket oh i love that color i don't think i've got a hardback book that's like all yellow i will read you out the blurb and the sort of synopsis that's on the inside as well 17 year old Raina has spent most of her life at the plumeria her family's gorgeous seaside resort in tobago but once 
But what once seemed like paradise is starting to feel more like purgatory. It has been two years since Raina's mother passed away. Two years since Aidan, her childhood best friend, first kiss, first love, first everything, left the island to pursue his music dreams. Raina's friends are all planning their futures and heading abroad. Even Daddy seems to want to move on, leaving her to try and keep the plumeria running. And that's when Aidan comes roaring back into her life as a VIP guest at the resort. Ooh. Aidan is now one third of DJ Bachanal, the latest, hottest music group on the scene. While Raina has stayed exactly where he left her, Aidan has returned to Tobago with his Grammy nominated band and two gorgeous LA socialites, and he may or may not be dating one of them. Oh my God, this sounds so good. Inspired by Jane Austen's Persuasion, Where the Rhythm Takes You is a romantic, mesmerizing novel of first love and second chances. This sounds like such a heartwarming read, and I'm so excited to get around to it. So yeah, like I just wanna say thank you so, so much to Harper360. Hello, I am back with another unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I need to just like edit and upload this video because I feel like by the time that I finish it's gonna be about 50 years long. I've had a bit of a strange parcel come today so it is this one and it says it's 48 hours and it's from oh, well I don't know who it's from but it's tracked and I have no clue what it is so I was like you know what let's just open it on camera and see what it is because i'm not expecting anything that i know of um oh hang on it's open i feel like my boyfriend might have opened this by accident earlier it is a book i'm so confused because i've not ordered a book well anyway let's see what it is oh okay Oh, ha, I'm confused because there is no, I'm confused. <laughs> so I have a arc and I'm assuming it's from Hotkey because that's Hotkey's logo and it is The Forevers and is out on the 8th of July 2021 and it says 30 days until the end of the world, what would you do? I absolutely love that cover. How gorgeous is this? Heartstopping YA debut from best-selling crime writer Chris Whittaker. Accept your destiny and join the forevers. Asteroid Selena will be crashing into Earth 8th of July 2021. Ooh, okay, okay. That sounds amazing. Um, I don't remember requesting this book. Um... But we all love an unexpected arc and this sounds fantastic. So thank you very much to Hotkey Books. Thank you very much for watching this. I just want to put a disclaimer out there. This isn't me like showing you any of this to like brag or anything. I personally love watching people do unboxings and things. So I thought it was quite a cool way to sort of showcase some small business owners, small creators, and to show you the things that I won in a competition. And obviously some books that I have purchased with my own money as well. <laughs> Let me know in the comment what your favourite item out of this massive haul of mix match of bookish things was and if you would like to subscribe to my channel that would mean so much to me I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers before my birthday which is October the 16th and I feel like it is doable I thought that it wasn't but I'm nearly on like 570 subscribers now hopefully the number hasn't gone down since filming this thank you so so much honestly like from the bottom of my heart it means so much to me because I genuinely thought that no one would be interested in these videos um so the fact that people are still interested to hear what i've got to say even though like i'm not really blogging as much and i switch platforms um it really does mean a lot to me so yeah if you did enjoy it you can also give it a thumbs up if you want there is a notification bell that you can press if you want to be like notified when i upload videos and when my videos premiere i'm always like in the comments chatting on the live chat if you do want to chat thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon in another video Bye!